وأقول في القرآن ما جاءت به آياته فهو الكريم المنزل وأقول قال الله جل جلاله والمصطفى الهادي ولا أتأول إن الحمد لله نحمده ونستعينه ونستغفره ونعوذ بالله من شرور أنفسنا ومن سيئات أعمالنا من يهده الله فلا مضل له ومن يضلل فلا هادي له وأشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له وأشهد أن محمدا عبده ورسوله أما بعد وإن السيرة of the messenger صلى الله عليه وسلم and last um, lesson we started الأحداث من نزول الوحي إلى الهجرة نزول الوحي على رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم الأحداث the events that took place من نزول الوحي إلى الهجرة until the prophet migrated to uh, Medina so we spoke about the event of the revelation coming down. Uh, we stopped at that the revelation, it started on a Monday. And the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he said in the hadith, Imam Muslim narrated, An Abi Qatada radiyallahu ta'ala anhu, Anna Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam su'ila an sawm yawm al The Prophet was asked about the fasting of Monday, and then he said, Fihi in it, wulitu, I was born. Wa fihi unzila alayya. And on Monday, the revelation started. Or, I, or the revelation was sent on to me. Inshallah ta'ala, there's a hadith al Imam al Bukhari you narrated. And it's very long in its length that describes the revelation. Bukhari brings it in Kitabu Bad il Wahi. So I'm going to mention this hadith. And it's the hadith of Aisha radiallahu ta'ala anha. وعن أبيها that the Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم she said about him أول ما بدأ به رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم the first commencement of the divine inspiration to Allah's messenger وحي she said it was من الوحي الرؤيا الصالحة the messenger صلى الله عليه وسلم he was in the it, it was in the form the revelation was in the form of a good dream and she said Finnomi, it would be in a dream for him alayhi salatu wasalam فَكَانَ لَا يَرَى رُؤْيَا إِلَّا جَاءَتْ مِثْلَ فَلَقِ الصُّبْحِ and the messenger sallallahu alayhi wasallam he would not see that dream except it will come true like the bright daylight فَكَانَ لَا يَرَى رُؤْيَا إِلَّا جَاءَتْ مِثْلَ فَلَقِ الصُّبْحِ ثُمَّ حُبِّبَ إِلَيْهِ الْخَلَاءُ and the Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, Allah placed in his heart the love of seclusion. He would love to leave the people. In the cave of what? In the cave of Al-Hira. وَكَانَ يَخْلُوا بِغَارِ الْحِرَى And the Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he would stay there فَيَتَحَنَّثُ And we mentioned the word يَتَحَنَّثُ It means أَيَتَعَبَّدُ the Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he would worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala al-layali dhawati al-adadi qabla an yanzi'a ila ahlihi. He used to, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, continuously worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala many days before his desire to see his family. He would be in that situation, alayhi salatu wa sallam, qabla an yanzi'a ila ahlihi. Wa yatazawadu li dhalik. And the Messenger alayhi salatu wa sallam, he would take with himself the provision and the food in which he would need to stay in his seclusion. And he would then go back to Khadija. He would stay with her. And then he, what he would do is, he would then again prepare his provision and the food that he would need, alayhi salatu wasalam, and then he would go back to his seclusion. Until the truth came to him. وَهُوَ فِي غَارِ حِرَاء Whilst the Messenger صلى الله عليه وسلم He was in the cave of Hira. فجاءه الملك فجاءه, فجاءه الملك The angel came to him عليه الصلاة والسلام فقال the angel said اقرأ recite Muhammad And then the Messenger responded by saying ما أنا بقارئ I am not one who recites The Prophet responded and he said to him I do not know how to recite. And then he said to him, read. And then he said, Ma ana biqari. 
I am not one who knows how to recite. Qala then the messenger said, فَأَخَذَنِي فَغَطَّنِي حَتَّى بَلَغَ مِنِّي الْجَهْدِ He said he grabbed me. The angel caught him forcefully and he pressured me so hard that I could not bear it anymore. The messenger alayhi salatu salam. And some of the scholars, they use this hadith as a fiqh. Ibn Qayyim mentions in his kitab, Tadeeb al-Sunan, that some of the scholars, they took it from this, that when the child is being taught Quran, some form of force can be used. If it's not physically and mentally harming the kid, but some form of pressure is permissible to be used. فَأَخَذَنِي فَغَطَّنِي حَتَّى بَلَغَ مِنِّي الْجَهْدِ ثُمَّ أَرْسَلَنِي فَقَالَ And he said to me, اِقْرَأْ read. قُلْتُ مَا أَنَا بِقَارِ The messenger said, I am not one who can read. فَأَخَذَنِي He grabbed me. فَغَطَّنِي الثَّانِيَةِ He forcefully pressured me again a second time. حَتَّى بَلَغَ مِنِّي الْجَهْدِ Until the messenger alayhi salatu wasalam, it reached him pain that he could not bear alayhi salatu wasalam. And he done it on the third time. And then he let go of him. ثم أرسلني he let go of me after, after the third time. فقال and then he said, اقرأ recite بسم ربك الذي خلق recite and read in the name of your Lord who created you. الذي خلق the one who created خلق الإنسان he created mankind من علق he created mankind from clot. اقرأ read. وَرَبُّكَ الْأَكْرَمْ Read, your Lord is the most gracious. فَرَجَعَ بِهَا رَسُولُ اللَّهِ صَلَّى اللَّهُ عَلَيْهِ وَسَلَّمَ The messenger فَرَجَعَ The messenger went back. بِهَا رَسُولُ اللَّهِ صَلَّى اللَّهُ عَلَيْهِ وَسَلَّمَ He returned with the revelation that was given to him. And at this time, the revelation was being placed in his heart. As Allah told us in Surah Al-Qiyamah, لَا تُحَرِّكْ بِهِ لِسَانَكَ لِتَعْجَلَ بِهِ that the Prophet was commanded not to read with Jibreel. That he listens and that the Qur'an will be gathered in his heart. And we always emphasize this point, which is that the Qur'an originally it stays in the heart. That's where it should be. Allah says in an ayah, بَلْ هُوَ آيَاتٌ بَيِّنَاتٌ فِي صُدُورِ الَّذِينَ أُوتُوا الْعِلْمِ He says in another ayah, وَإِنَّهُ لَتَنْزِيلُ رَبِّ الْعَالَمِينَ نَزَلَ بِهِ الرُّوحُ الْأَمِينَ عَلَىٰ قَلْبِكَ To the heart of the Messenger صلى الله عليه وسلم إذن the Qur'an should be placed in the heart and the person should give importance to memorizing the Qur'an and we spoke about that yesterday in the tafsir of Surah Al-A'la we spoke about it and the things that will help a person to memorize the Qur'an فَرَجَعَ بِهَا رَسُولُ اللَّهِ the messenger returned with the revelation that was given to him, alayhi salatu wasalam. But when he went, يَرُجُّفُ فُؤَادُهُ فَرَجَعَ بِهَا رَسُولُ اللَّهِ The messenger, he returned with the revelation that was given to him. يَرُجُّفُ فُؤَادُهُ And the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wasalam, his heart was beating severely, alayhi salatu wasalam. And then فَدَخَلَ عَلَى Khadija, And he entered upon Khadija, بِنْتِ خُوَيْلِدٍ the daughter of Khuwaylid radiallahu ta'ala anha and he said to her zammiluni zammiluni and it means cover me cover me he said to the prophet she said the prophet said to Khadija he said to her zammiluni cover me zammiluni cover me fazammaluhu they covered the prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam hatta dhahaba anhu ar-raw' until the fear that was with him was overcome and it left him alayhi salatu was salam and this brothers it shows you that Khadija, the role that she played in Islam and how noble she is and how our Muslim sisters and mothers and aunties and daughters should take her footsteps and see her as a role model. Radiallahu ta'ala anha. When he came to her, she dealt with the matter in a way that is beyond our comprehension. Radiallahu ta'ala anha. What she do, she helped him. And the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam فَقَالَ لِخَدِيجَةً He said to Khadija وَأَخْبَرَهَا الْخَبَرِ He told her the information and what took place. And he said لَقَدْ خَشِيتُ عَلَى نَفْسِي I feared for myself, Khadija. فَقَالَتْ خَدِيجَةُ كَلَّا وَاللَّهِ This is statements that deserve to be written in ink of gold. How she helped him and she aided him and she consulted him alayhi salatu wa sallam. Uh, he consulted her and she helped him. فَقَالَتْ خَدِيجَةُ كَلَّا وَاللَّهِ 
She said, no, never. Wallahi, by Allah, ma yukhzik Allahu abada. Allah will never disgrace you, Muhammad. Innaka la tasilur rahim. Muhammad, you keep good relationship with your kin and your family. I'm a kith and kin. The qaraba, the family that you have, you keep their t- kinship and you take care of that. Wa tahmilul kalla. And you help the poor and the destitute, the ones who are in need, you're there to help them. Wa taksibul ma'aduma. Wa taqri'ul dayfa. And you also, you serve your guest and generally, generally you assist the deserving, the calamity afflicted ones. Wa tu'inu ala nawa'ib al Aish uh, Khadija helped the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa by telling him the good that he has and that he shouldn't worry because Allah says to us in the Quran Inna Allah la yudhi'u ajra man ahsan amala The one who comes with good, who's upright, who's steadfast, who remembers Allah, Allah doesn't forsake them subhanahu wa ta'ala. So that's what she was t- telling him. فَانْطَلَقَتْ بِهِ خَدِيجَةُ After calming him down, helping him, aiding him Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, she said to him, she took him with her. فَانْطَلَقَتْ بِهِ خَدِيجَةُ حَتَّى أَتَتْ بِهِ وَرَقَةَ بْنَ نَوْفَلٍ She brought him to who? وَرَقَةَ 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 is related to Khadija رضي الله تعالى عنها. وَرَقَةَ's name is وَرَقَةَ بْنَ نَوْفَلْ ابن أسد ابن عبد العزة ابن عم خديجة. He's the cousin of Khadija. وَكَانَ امْرَأً He was an individual تَنَصَّرَ فِي الْجَاهِلِيَّةِ Before Islam, he was a Christian. وَكَانَ يَكْتُبُ الْكِتَابِ الْعِبْرَانِي He used to write the Bible in Hebrew. And the reason why this is mentioned is because it's not common for writing. Arabs were not known to write. They were ummah, a nation who read, who, sorry, who, uh, who far they would memorize things. As for writing and reading, wasn't their, it wasn't the, their best field of expertise. So this is why Waraka being a writer is being mentioned. And not only that, he used to write in another language. That means he was a learned man. He was a learned man. مِنَ الْإِنْجِيلِ بِالْعِبْرَانِيَ He would write from the Injil in Hebrew. مَا شَاءَ اللَّهُ أَنْ يَكْتُبْ He would write that which Allah willed for him to write. وَكَانَ شَيْخًا كَبِيرًا قَدْ عَمِي And he was an old man in age. He became blind. وَرَقَى فَقَالَتْ لَهُ خَدِيجَةً خديجة she said, she said to him, يَا بْنَ عَمِّي My cousin, إِسْمَعْ مِنْ ابْنَ أَخِيكَ Listen to what your nephew uh, needs to say. فَقَالَ لَهُ وَرَقَى وَرَقَى said, يَا بْنَ أَخِي مَاذَا تَرَى فَأَخْبَرَهُ رَسُولُ اللَّهِ he said, what is it that you see? And then Waraka told, uh, the Prophet told Waraka what he saw. When he informed him, فَقَالَ لَهُ وَرَقَى Waraka said to him, هَذَا النَّامُوسُ This is Namus, as in Jibreel. This is Jibreel. الَّذِي نَزَّلَ اللَّهُ الَّذِي نَزَّلَ اللَّهُ In which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sent down ala Musa. Allah sent Jibreel down on Nabiullah Musa. يَا لَيْتَنِي فِيهَا جَدْعًا I wish, he said, that that day I was a person who was very young. I wish, he said, that I, that particular day, would be a person who is young and has strength. لَيْتَنِي أَكُونُ حَيًّا I wish that I would be alive that day. إِذْ يُخْرِجُكَ قَوْمُكَ The time when your people are going to, they're going to take you. And they're going to drive you out of Medina. فَقَالَ رَسُولُ اللَّهِ صَلَّى اللَّهُ عَلَيْهِ وَسَلَّمْ Then the messenger said, أَوَ مُخْرِجِيَّهُمْ Are they going to take me out? Are they going to drive me out of Mecca? قَالَ نَعَمْ Yes, he, they, he, he, they will. لَمْ يَأْتِ رَجُلٌ قَطٌ No man has ever come. بِمِثْلِي بِمِثْلِي Like مَا جِئْتَ بِهِ That which you have come with. إِلَّا عُودِي Except enmity was shown to him. وَإِنْ يُدْرِكْنِي يَوْمُكَ And if I reach your day and I come into contact with you that day, أَنْصُرُكَ نَصْرًا I will give you victory that day. مُؤَزَّرًا I will help you and truly aid you that day. And look at Waraka. He knew the scriptures. That no prophet and no messenger 
came with calling to Tawheed, La ilaha illallah, Muhammad al-Rasulullah, ikhlas, that ibadah should only be done for Allah, and that no one else should it be done for, except enmity was shown to him. Ikhlasuna lillahi saffi al-qalba min iradatin siwahu, fahdhar ya fatin. That the person doesn't do or think or say or intend only for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's sake. No prophet comes with that except that enmity and hate will be shown to him. And that he would be kicked out of his own town home, a hometown. His place of residence, he will be taken out of it. And then he said, if I live that day and I meet you and we come into contact, I will help you and aid you. ثم لم يشب ورقة ورقة didn't really live and wasn't around after a few days he passed away and he died. So this hadith is lengthy and it's long. Bukhari brought it in its length. All of that which I mentioned, Bukhari brought it in his Sahih. That hadith is powerful. Like if you go to Sahih al-Bukhari, Kitab al-Ta'bir. That was in what? Kitab al al wahi which is the first Kitab of Bukhari. If you go to Bukhari's Kitab al-Ta'bir, which is the interpretation of the dream, Bukhari brings a riwayah which is mursal da'ifa. A riwayah which is mursal. What is, what is a mursal? Huh? What is a mursal? Remember we said when we stay when we study Bayquniya, wa mursalun min sahabiyun sakat. وَقُلْ غَرِيبُ مَا رَوَى رَاوِينَ فَقَطْ That we said this is an incorrect definition on Bayquni side, right? We said that, right? لأن the mursal is not the disconnection of a companion. Because if it was the disconnection of a companion, we would have accepted the hadith. لأن إبهام الصحابي لا يضر The fact that we don't know the companion doesn't harm us. But the fact is that what is missing from the hadith is what? There's a possibility it could be another tabi'i. And the tabi'een, we need to know who they are. Sahih? To know. So mursal is not just when a companion is missing. Okay? It's not just that. Mursal is what? مَا أَسْنَدَهُ التَّابِعِيُّ إِلَىٰ رَسُولِ اللَّهِ It's when a tabi'i attributes a hadith to the Prophet. And as we mentioned in Nukhbatul Fikr, what did we say? That the scholars, they differed on the irsal of Sa'id ibn al-Musayyib and Sa'id ibn al-Musayyib. Both ways they say the ulama. And he is what? Sayyidu Tabi'in. Sahih? Sa'id ibn al-Musayyib. The scholars, they differed. The reason why they differed is because the majority of the people in which Sa'id ibn al-Musayyib narrates from is who? Sahabas. So the chances of the person missing from the narration is who? Sahabi. Well, Sa'id ibn al-Musayyib's father was what? His father was a companion. His father was a companion, and he's the one who narrated the hadith. لما حضرت أبا طالب الوفاة when Abu Talib the death was coming to him, and Abdullah ibn Abi Abdullah ibn Abi Umayyah and Abu Jahl فرعون هذه الأمة were both next to Abu Talib. They were both next to who? Abu Talib. Both of them were next to Abu Talib. And then the Prophet ﷺ came in and he said, Ay am, قُلْ لَا إِلَهَ إِلَّا اللَّهُ أُحَاجُ لَكَ بِهَا عِنْدَ اللَّهِ Say, La ilaha illallah, I can argue for you the day of judgment. And then they looked at him and they said to him, أَتَرْغَبُ عَنْ مِلَّةِ عَبْدِ الْمُطَّلِبِ Are you going to choose a religion other than the religion of Abd al-Muttalib? And then what did Abu Talib say? هُوَ عَلَى مِلَّةِ عَبْدِ الْمُطَّلِبِ the one who narrated that hadith is Sa'id ibn Musayb's father. That's the only hadith he narrated. Like in Hafiz al-Dhahabiyu in Sir Ala min Ubala, he mentions that his name, the way to say it is Bikasri al-Ya'i, Musayyib, Sa'id al-Musayyib. And not Sa'id ibn Musayyib. And that Sa'id al-Musayyib, Sa'id al-Musayyib, he used to dislike to be called Musayyib. He used to say, Sayyabahu Allah man sayyabani. He didn't like it, people calling him that. Ala kulli hal. The mursal, is it from the aqsam of da'if or is it from the aqsam of hadith which are sahih? Huh? Is the mursal sahih or is it da'if? Huh? 
The mursal is da'if, right? Why is it da'if? Because of that, as-saktu fi sanad. Remember we said any hadith that's weak is one of two reasons. At-ta'nu fi rawi and what? As-saktu fi sanad. And then the mursal is from the, the sakt, which is zahir, the apparent type. The reason I mention all of this is I'm coming to an issue which is very important. Which is that Ibn Ishaq mentions in his seerah, and Ubaid ibn Umayrin qal, Now, so Bukhari brings in his Sahih, and Imam Al Bukhari, he brings in his Sahih. He says, Ali Zuhri Kauluhu. Zuhri is from what? So, uh, Muhammad ibn Shahab Zuhri is from the what? He's from the young Tabi'in, from the Sigaru Tabi'in. He's not just a Tabi'in, he's from the young Tabi'in. How do we determine if a Tabi'i is young or is he old? How do you determine it? How do we know that a Tabi'i is young or how do we know he's old? Huh? Huh. Ah, so if a tabi'i narrates from more companions, then he's from the kibar. And if he narrated more from the tabi'in, if more people is narrated from the he's from the sigar. So Sa'id ibn Musayyib is from uh, the kibar. Sa'id ibn Musayyib. And what about Muhammad ibn Shihab al-Zuhri? He's from the sigar. Muhammad ibn Shihab al-Zuhri said, Hatta hazina al-Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam fima balagana huznan ghada minhu miraran كي يتردى من رؤوس شواهق الجبال فكلما أوفى بخاري brings that محمد بن شهاب الزهري said that the messenger صلى الله عليه وسلم when the revelation became long meaning it became very far it became what it became very far it took time the revelation stopped for a period of time the messenger صلى الله عليه وسلم he would appear before um, he came on top of a mountain, alayhi salatu wasalam, and he wanted to throw himself down that mountain. And Jibreel would come to him, appear before him, and he would say, Ya Muhammad, you are indeed a messenger from Allah. You are what? فَقَالَ يَا Muhammad, إِنَّكَ رَسُولُ اللَّهِ حَقَّى That you are truly a messenger from Allah. فَيَسْكُنُ لِذَلِكَ جَأْشُ The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wasalam, his heart would calm down, he would relax. وَتَقِرُّ نَفْسُهُ فَيَرْجِعُ he then go back. He wouldn't commit the suicide. فَإِذَا طَالَتْ عَلَيْهِ فَتَرَةُ الْوَحِي Then when the revelation will become lengthy and long, غَدًا غَدًا لِمِثْلِ ذَلِكَ He would then go in the morning and he would, do the, he would go out on top of a mountain to commit suicide. And this went on and on. This part of the hadith, ya ikhwa, even that the Bukhari narrated it, is it sahih? Why is it da'if? It's Mursal. It's Mursal. Why is it Mursal? Well, Idalika Hafid Mahajal, let me read his kalam on you. Allah Hafid Mahajal Rahimullah. He says, Wahadi al Kisatu, Wahia min Balagati Zuhri, Walaysa Mosulan. He said, This story, Hia min Balagati Zuhri. Mamana Balagat. Bukhari, what does he mention in his Sahih when he narrates a hadith without his Sheikh? A hadith that Bukhari doesn't mention his shaykh, what's it called? If Bukhari doesn't mention his shaykh, what is it called? Mu'allaq, right? What about in Muwatta Imam Malik? If Malik doesn't mention his shaykh, and he says, Balagani anna Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam what is it called? It's called Balagat. It's the same as the Mu'allaq, but it's a term coined for an Imam Malik, rahimahullah. This story, half of the Hajar says, it is the things that reached Zuhri. وَلَيْسَ مَوْصُولًا And it's not connected. And what is the conditions of a hadith which is sahih? What's the, what's the, what's the hadith sahih? What's the sahih hadith? What's it called? وَوَمَا اتَّصَلَ إِسْنَادُهُ وَلَمْ يُشَدَّ أَوْ يُعَلْ يَرْوِيهِ عَدْلٌ ضَابِطٌ عَمْ مِثْلِهِ مُعْتَمَدٌ فِي ضَبْطِهِ وَنَقْلِهِ صح? That's a hadith which is sahih. That is connected. Is that condition missing here? It's missing. وَلِذَلِكَ أَلِمَامُ الْبُخَارِيُّ You didn't narrate this hadith in Kitab al al Wahi. He didn't. Imam al-Bukhari Salia, he's doing here is ajeeb. Because remember we mentioned the story in its length. He brought that same story again in Kitab al Tabir Bukhari. But he didn't this time bring, he didn't bring what? The part of Zuhri. He didn't mention it in it. 
But he narrated in Kitab Al-Ta'bir. The reason he did this, Hafid says, so he can actually clarify ba'faha, that is weak. That was why Bukhari did that, rahimahullah ta'ala. And who knows Bukhari more than her? Ibn Hajar, rahimahullah ta'ala. He spent so much time on this book. Um, because we started late in the class, normally it should be finished at 7 o'clock. We won't carry on, inshallah ta'ala. We'll stop there, bi kareem Anything which I have said that was wrong and incorrect is from me, a shaitan, and Allah's messenger free from it. Subhanakallahumma bihamdika shadwa la ilaha illallah, astaghfiruka wa tawbih.